peace my loves and welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to do a beautiful dream talk video it's been so long since we've done a dream talk so let's get into it spirit has been sending me so many dreams back to back to back to back and lately they have been fast and super jumpy so for me i've been taking a lot of time to get back recentered in my meditative state and my grounding practices to receive clearer dreams but the last one that I had, I would say the last dream that really stuck out to me, and especially as we're in this energy right now, Neptune is in Pisces. So Neptune is a beautiful energy of dreams. This is a time where dreams are being revealed. The sun is shining so brightly. Oh, the birds are chirping. So beautiful. But things are being revealed in dreams. Spirit is revealing awakening these beautiful souls out here through these messages in the astral world in the astral realm so pay attention to your dreams how are you feeling in your dreams because sometimes i'll wake up with the feeling that i had so this last dream it was all centered around me i was going fast it was a very fast paced dream a lot of my dreams have been so fast paced lately and that's why i feel as if spirit is telling me to get grounded go back to self go back to solitude go back to those strong rituals those strong foundational root foundations right and for me that was protection so in this dream this particular dream i have these candles and i'm like juggling these candles is everything is fast it's dark and something just recently happened to me my dog transparency here and for me anytime something happens in my home anytime something happens in my home in my sacred space i look at that like okay this is me this is my energy because especially as the woman of the house you are seen as the one to protect you're seen as the one to spiritually protect the home you set the spiritual standard so i needed to go back to what i used to do my candles getting up every day to my foundational rituals of my whole spiritual journey and sometimes you you get led astray you forget you fall on your ass but spirit's gonna remind you and in this particular dream they was telling me girl you you don't have that prosperity you don't have that protection it's fast quick quick you know you rushing here and there every which way because you're not doing your rituals you're not doing your foundational rituals so getting back to scripture every day getting back to lighting that candle every day right and now especially with candles especially since that dream was so oh it's a beautiful bee but especially since that dream was so quick fast paced i was like let me go ahead and do it right now so i've been really getting into candles actually being more intentional with candles not just because it became this oh well, let me put my candle on the altar da da doo bada boo but no get really in depth with your work get really in depth with what you're doing what energy that you are providing when you think of protection for your home so i definitely went back to doing my candle work doing my foundational principles of spirituality right going back to the ancestors right let me okay let's get a quick card flip because we we love we love a a beautiful tarot moment okay so spirit what are we thinking for right now with these dreams what do you want the collective to pay attention for when we think about our dreams? Ace of Basket. So being mindful of our emotions. So that's another thing for me. Like Spirit have been showing me like get protected in your emotions. Get grounded in your emotions. Go back to those feelings of protection. For me, I love candle magic. I love getting up, waking up, setting my intentions for the day with an incense, with the candle. Especially with this beautiful Aries energy that we're in. This is, that's a fire energy, right? When we think of fire we're thinking of sparking that flame what areas of your life can you spark back okay what areas of your life can you tweak up on this beautiful springtime right what things do you want to flourish what things do you want to be abundant right for me it's been going back to painting i told y'all before 
I needed to go back to getting grounded, getting rooted again, right? And it's so beautiful how looking at all these different journeys and seeing what everybody brings forth collectively. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm not going to make it too, too long because I can talk all day. It is a beautiful, beautiful day. Make sure you're getting some sun, drinking your water, drinking your herbal teas, planting those seeds, okay? And I will see you all next time on the next video. Peace.